For Juan David Campolargo, this moment has been a lifetime in the making. The 17-year-old, who's currently a senior at Bennett Academy, immigrated to the United States from Venezuela with his family three years ago. They sought refuge after a tragic incident. It was an almost Saturday when, you know, like a group of criminals tried to kidnap my dad and I. And, you know, like they, like they started shooting and like all over the place so that like the, the car had bullets all over the place. And, you know, he, unfortunately, he, like, a gunshot impacted him. And, you know, people thought, like, we'd both die. And, you know, I was alive. It left Campo Largo devastated. But because he survived, he felt he had no choice but to be optimistic. And it's gotten him pretty far. Campo Largo didn't speak any English when he moved to Naperville, but learned how to in just six months. Instead of thinking, English, oh my God, like English has more than 10,000 words. Like I'm not gonna learn that. No, like I just told myself, I'm going to learn the subjects like I, he, we, whatever, and then the verbs, which is the most important things in languages. Shortly after he learned a second language, he started taking college courses in high school. His impressive story doesn't stop there. As Campolargo is also a business owner, is on two Naperville advisory committees, and even manages to squeeze in some volunteering time at the public library. His latest accolade is his book, Generation Optimism, which encourages young people to have a more optimistic outlook in life. This caught the eye of Arthur Zards, who runs TEDx Naperville. So here you have a 16-year-old kid saying, I want younger generations to think of optimism, and that's fascinating, and I wanted to explore that with him. And on November 9th, audiences can explore it as well, as Campo Largo will be a keynote speaker at TEDx Naperville. He hopes what he says that day can have a positive impact on the audience. If I can do anything to improve people's lives, I would totally do it. I am more than willing to do that. And that's what brings me joy and happiness and that's what drives me the most. For Naperville News 17, I'm Christian Canizal.